In this video, we're going to look at how last line roles events into incidents and incidents into network infections, allowing you to quickly find the key host to look at. In this video, we're going to look at how that shows you an, an entire attack chain where you don't have to look down into the individual events to expose that. Here we have a host. It has two incidents. When we drill into those incidents, we can see that we have two separate incidents. One is a single command and control out to a sync hold command and control server and then we have seven individual events that starts with a malicious binary download. If we drill into those seven events we can quickly see that we get the end-to-end -end attack chain. So while individual events starting with a drive-by and then following on to the download and then the subsequent command and control channels You'll notice that each individual event has a lower score. The drive-by download is only 65. At this point, we don't know that the machine is actually being infected. Then we see it download the file, and we see a successful command and control channel. Those are driven the score up, and then ultimately the fact that all of these are bound together drives a higher score than the individual events. If you can imagine looking across a large number of events, a large number of hosts, it can be difficult to pull together this chain of events into a complete picture. By rolling events into incidents and incidents into network infections, we allow you to focus immediately on the hosts that need the most attention and bind together the entire attack chain.